Welcome to the Advanced Cardiac Life Support Chapter on Ventricular Fibrillation and Pulseless Ventricular Tachycardia. Ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia are two arrhythmias that create rapid but ineffective ventricular contractions and may lead to sudden cardiac arrest and death. During ventricular fibrillation, or VF, there is no organization of electrical activity in the heart and the cardiac muscle is in disarray. The heart ends up quivering uselessly. Because of this, the heart doesn't pump adequately and blood is not pumped through the systemic circulation or pulmonary circulation. VF can turn into asystole, which is usually irreversible and sudden cardiac death in a matter of minutes. VF has many causes, such as heart attack, congenital heart disease, cardiomyopathies, ischemia, heart surgery, drug toxicity, smoking, high blood pressure, diabetes, and accidental electrical shock. Some symptoms of VF include chest pain, dizziness, rapid heartbeat, and shortness of breath. VF does not have an identifiable ECG waveform as electrical activity is disorganized. Initial waveforms show a coarse VF, but after a few minutes, the waveforms are much smaller and show a fine VF. Ventricular tachycardia, VTAC, or VT, is another arrhythmia causing rapid contractions of the ventricles in the heart, with the heart beating usually 100 beats per minute or more. The heart does not properly fill with blood. VT can lead to VF and cause sudden death. A pulseless VT happens when the ventricles contract extremely rapidly, but there is no effective cardiac output, and therefore no pulse resulting in cardiac arrest. The causes of pulseless VT are acute myocardial ischemia, or infarction, myocarditis, electrolyte abnormalities, such as hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia, various medications, cardiomyopathy, reperfusion, and ventricle aneurysm. The symptoms of pulseless VT are similar to that of VF, and their treatment follows the same protocol.